Hello future scientists! In the unit 2, mixing materials, dissolving. Today we are going to know that when a solid dissolves in a liquid, the solid is still present and this is an example of mixing. We are going to ask scientific questions that can be investigated. Then at the end of the lesson, we will assess if you can name two materials that dissolve in water and one that does not. And you can ask a scientific question and plan the right type of scientific inquiry to find the answer. These are some useful links to help us understand the lesson better. You will learn new words so it will help to talk about your science. So get your yellow notebook and write these keywords. Dissolve. When a material mixes with a liquid and becomes part of the liquid so that the solid cannot be seen. Insoluble is a material that will not dissolve in a liquid. Soluble is a material that will dissolve in a liquid. Transparent, a material that you can see clearly through, may be clear or colored. For our starter activity, these children are describing their ideas about what happens to sugar when it is put into a hot drink. This girl says she put some sugar in but now it has gone. I think the sugar is still there but you can't find it with spoon. The boy is saying that you can still taste the sugar. Do you agree with any of the children in the picture? So write down who you think is right and share your ideas. Where did the sugar go? This is the sugar and water before dissolving. The sugar cannot be seen but it is still in the cup. But how could you check the sugar is still there? When a solid dissolves in a liquid, it is still there even though it cannot be seen. The sugar has broken up into tiny pieces and is too small to see. Dissolved solids remain in the liquid and do not disappear. The water, containers, spoons, and sugar used must be clean and safe to taste. Remember, tasting in science is not usually allowed as it could be dangerous, but because you have used clean drinking cups, clean teaspoons, clean sugar, and clean drinking water, the mixture is safe to taste. In your learner's book page 46, some solids dissolve when they are mixed with a liquid. This means the solid breaks into pieces that are too small to see. When the solid has dissolved, we cannot see it, but it is still there. Example, coffee, sugar, salt, mixed with water. Many liquids are see-through. We say they are transparent. It means a material that you can see clearly through, it may be clear or colored. So when a solid dissolves in a transparent liquid, the liquid stays transparent but might change color. Example, alcohol, acetone. And we describe solids that dissolve in a liquid as soluble. Sugar dissolves in water, so sugar is soluble in water. We describe solids that do not dissolve in a liquid as insoluble. Flour, sand, oil, and metal are best example. Sand does not dissolve in water, so sand is insoluble in water. An insoluble solid in a liquid is a mixture and can be easily separated. You can see this sand in a glass of water. A soluble solid in a liquid is, is still a mixture but is more difficult to separate. In this lesson, we are going to find out that in a mixture of a solid and a liquid, sometimes the solid dissolves. We are also going to record observations in tables and diagrams. Remember, dissolving is when a material mixes with a liquid and becomes part of the liquid so that the solid cannot be seen. This is a picture of colored candies mixed in water. Now, observe the dissolving colored sugar carefully, then draw a diagram that shows what happened. Write some words including the different colors, the sizes of the candies. In this activity, you will need some colored sweets, a plate, and some water. Some sweets are made of colored sugar, so put some of the sweets into a little water to see what happens when the sugar dissolves. Then draw a diagram to show what happens. At the end of the activity, observe the remaining parts of the sweets and let's describe where the missing colored sugar is now. Has the sugar disappeared? 
The UAE has uh, implemented taxes on sugary drinks and a decrease in sugar within other foods in helping people consume healthier foods. The use of front-of-pack labels provide quick information on how healthy a product is and use of a traffic light labeling scheme with a green light indicating that an item is a healthy choice has been implemented as well to fight obesity. We actually learned about this in our week one keeping healthy lesson. Let's discuss. So what word describes a solid that will dissolve in a liquid? Okay, remember we describe solids that dissolve in a liquid as soluble. What word describes a solid that will not dissolve in a liquid? We describe solids that do not dissolve in a liquid as insoluble. Sugar dissolves in water. Name any of other solids that dissolve in water. What do you think? Sand does not dissolve in water. So sand is insoluble in water, just like flour and metal. Okay, so it's research time. You may find when learning science that some things feel easy, but others are harder. You may sometimes get things wrong. Do not worry about this. As learners, we don't get things right every time. So please search the internet for making salt crystals to find alternative methods you could use and share this in the class. I hope you enjoy your science and be ready to talk about it and think hard. Why do only white powders dissolve? Because only white powder dissolves because dissolved substances cannot be seen. They become part of the water. Substances which do not dissolve are called soluble. Future scientists, thank you for listening.